Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studio here with another book flip. I know, I know. I've been getting stuff done. It's so annoying. All right, so I made this book, uh, I think about two weeks ago. And I made it because I watched several people do scrap uh, materials, not junk mail, scrap materials. Um, and make them into journals, and so I thought I would do it. I saw my friend Cindy Utter do it, and I saw, let's see, I've seen Tracy, no, not Tracy, um, Natasha at Treasure Books. So I, I wanted to give my own a try, and here is the finished product. I finished it today. Uh, this is just a tea or coffee dyed sheet with it underneath here. I put a strip here and then just Put it under there and I did actually glue this part. Alright, so here it is. This is made out of what's it made out of? Oh, a shopping bag, um, a painted shopping bag that I saw somebody made make a while back, and it was like a, a bag, and I cut it apart and decided to use it for the cover of the book. So it's all finished bit of glare here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how this lighting thing. I have the ceiling fan on and two lights on to keep this from happening. So what I used was is ephemera that I really like that sort of looking old-fashioned, sort of looking vintage. Truly not vintage, but looks like it. Um, some of it came from a gifts from friends. Some of it were rubber stamps that I used and put on tissue paper and put on top of other paper. Um, I was gifted lace and um, kinds of ribbons, and I used those. I really like this bingo card. I did have to cut the bingo card apart because it was just too tall, but I really wanted it on here, and the only way I could figure out how to do it is to cut out the numbers and then just cut out the word bingo. And there were some other numbers above this, but I got rid of those. These are doodles that are sewn on top of yellow paper, which is glued on top of newsprint, which is glued on top of a jelly print. Well, they say layers are really important, so there they are. <laughs> this is um, some, I think this, this paper was gifted to me, and I'm not sure if Peg Robinson gave it to me or Cindy Utter, but whoever gave it to me, I love the paper, and I didn't want to not use it, so I... I've been sitting on it a couple months, so I put it in here and sewed. I sewed around the edges and then glued it on top of the page. This is a stamp done on tissue paper, which is glued on top of brown cardstock. This is printed on uh, tissue paper, and then this is just a rubber stamp stamped on top of it. Here's a pocket that I put some ephemera that I did not use. The pocket is um, sewn and then glued on here, and this is just a piece of deli paper that is stamped and made to look aged. I like using these heavy-duty tabs, so I've been trying to put a lot of tabs on things because this, the pages are so uneven that using the tab helps. These are just stamps that I made look a little bit old. This one didn't go as well as I wanted it to, but I still like it. This is Sorry Ribbon. Again, a stamp that was gifted to me. This was one of my alphabet letter things. I saw Julia at Camellia uh, Crafts Designs. Designs, Crafts. I can't remember. Ooh, I'm going to get her name wrong. Ah. Anyway, I'll put the link down below, and I'll be sure that it's spelled correctly. Anyway, she was stamping letters, and I thought, oh, that's a great idea. I never use my le my alphabet for anything. So I stamped them on coffee dyed paper and then used the walnut stain from Tim Holtz. A lot of these are, the basis for these are um, jelly prints that I've made from the past that I'm trying to use up so I can make more. These are tickets that were gifted to me. It's a stamp I had. These are, um, this is a stamp on 
I, I'm trying to feel the outside edges. I think I just stamped the stamp right onto here, and then I took a, a it's called flexible brush, watercolor brushes that were gifted to me. I brushed that on top of it and blended a little bit of the color in. And because I was trying to mimic one side to the other, I had a rubber stamp and I stamped it on tissue paper and then made sure that it, the tissue paper faded into the background. And then I went over that when I glued it on in black and white. Then I colored the red and the orange and the brown over it to kind of balance them out. This is a stamp I have from, I think it's stamp, stamp a do or some stamp a dab a do. It's a four block where you have the four stamps on the wooden block. I think I bought that at Michael's when it was like 25% off or 50% off quite a few years ago. This is another one, a jelly print that just, I have a sewn strip and then I glued it on there and made a pocket. And this is just some leftover ephemera I did not use in this book. I was trying not to use too many images like this, but I could not resist because I thought that was so pretty. It's someone's, it came off of um, a book, I think, and it's quilling. It's a lilac that's quilled. These came off the back of scrapbook paper. This came off of another, uh, I think this number might have come off of this ticket, I can't remember. This is a stamp I had on hand, and somebody gave me this felty looking paper. It's, I, I want to say it's mulberry paper, but I think it's much nicer than mulberry paper. I think it's a handmade paper of some kind. It feels almost like, like cotton you just pull apart, like a dry, like um, fuzz from the dryer. That's what it reminds me of, fuzz from the dryer. It's wonderful stuff. A little sewing of scraps. I got these eggs from Graphic, Graphics Fairy many years ago, and I don't use them very often. I printed them out on cardstock, and I never use them, so I thought I would use them today. This has got one, this is two, three, four, one, two, three, four layers of paper on this page, so this thing is, you know, it's really heavy duty. This did not go well, but I'm, I still hung with it because it does look a little bit old. And then there are more of the eggs. And then there's a little short page here with ephemera from scrapbook paper. And this is just a little card that had a bird on it, I think, that somebody gifted to me. And I have the stamp of the ruler and I stamped that on paper. This is part of, this is the same stuff as this bag right here. This was going to be a journal card, but I decided to use it on this page because I thought it, the colors went kind of well. Again, part of scrapbook paper from a, you know, the cardstock feeling scrapbook paper was the backside of something. This is the second signature. This is a flower I drew, outlined it with a black jelly pen, put it on tissue, uh, did it on tissue paper, then um, glued the tissue paper on top of cardstock that was browned, put that on top of scrapbook paper, which is on top of a piece of uh, another scrapbook paper. <laughs> There's tons of layers on here. All these pages that have at least two or three layers to them. I think one of my favorite pages is this page right here with the eggs on it. I love these eggs and with the with the dark green, and then the uh, scrapbook paper. It's the Harlequin. I guess it's a Harlequin print. I love this page. And I like these two pages also, a lot.
This is a stamp that goes this way. It's a flower. It's one of those spongy stamps. This is my artwork done on vellum, then glued on top of pink cardstock. No, it's not glued. I'm sorry. I used um, that red t red tape. And then I made I I sewed in this this little short these little short ones in here. They were fun. I also like this page too. Shades of green and browns. I like this one. I mean, I like them all, but there's some that I'm more partial to than others. This came from that big, huge block stamp also. And this one did, and this one did. So I tried to get all the prints in off that block stamp. And there are cherry blossoms that are done from, that are quilled. More eggs. Love the egg pictures. And I've had this piece of paper with this stamp spoon on here forever, and I finally found somewhere to put it. This paper right here was gifted to me, and it's got nothing but it, but it's got birds and the word love and all kinds of flowers and hearts on it. And I, I could not help myself because they were birds. I figured, you know, the page could have eggs on it. So that's how it ended up with the eggs on it. There we are at the end. So I finished a book that I started and didn't think I would finish it. I thought I would put it off. It took me about four or five days to find all the images to put it together. I was My desk looked like there was an explosion of ephemera and scraps. I really wanted to finish this book. I did not want to leave an unfinished, another unfinished project. So I am trying my best to finish what I start in a timely manner. So there it is, my green scrappy book. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks, everybody. I will see you in the next flip. Bye.